Grand Rapids City officials hammered out a plan to deal with old, potentially dangerous trees hanging over streets, parks, and some of your homes. Close to 3,000 trees on city property need immediate attention. Now, we first told you about the problem in June, and now new at 7, Joe LaFerci is talking with city leaders about their plan of attack. This is an asset class that has been ignored up until this point, largely. The non-bureaucrat translation, the city let the maintenance of trees slide, but now it's a priority. Back in June, we showed you the problem. Too many old trees on city property had either fallen or were in danger of coming down. Too few city crews are available to address the problem. Too little money was budgeted to hire more workers. A recent first-of-its-kind tree inventory by the city shows of the 85,000 trees on city property, over 1,500 need to be removed ASAP, while just under 1,500 need to be trimmed to avoid a dangerous situation. Today we got approval to move forward on our plan, what we're calling our priority one plan. City commissioners okayed spending $2.4 million to take down or trim bad trees. Much of the money will be used to hire private contractors to supplement city forestry crews. Those private contractors are set to come on board by November 1st. The city hopes to have priority one trees either cut down or trimmed up by April 1st of next year. I think the take-home message, though, is that we are addressing it. Uh, we're looking to do it in an expedited way, and we're doing it in a public and private partnership so that we can get this done uh, as soon as we can. Commissioners voted to fund the project by taking a little from here, a little from there. The next step, a long-range funding solution to ensure future tree problems can be better managed. In Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, 24-Hour News 8.